We are back. Long, long break, but we have finally, finally, finally gotten back here. Apparently Steam felt like uh, taking a short break, but we are now back for game number two of the day. Again, sorry for the delay, but it's uh, not on uh, Star Ladder, it's not on PUBG. It is a, um, it was a Steam server issue that fortunately, 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 has now been fixed. So welcome back everyone and um, let's get straight into the game. This plane, not exactly the best one. I mean, um, it is rather far down south. And it's actually kind of interesting because normally, normally when we have these far southern planes, they tend to go from the west to east rather than uh, than east to west. You have like the Primorsk over Milta Power planes. But this one, Novo over, well, I mean, Gatka pretty much. Not really the most up up optimal plane, but uh, most people at least will be able to go exactly where they would want. And now we saw previously interesting things going down, and what we can see interestingly going on right here as well is that Rizzards and Riddle are in all kinds of confrontations with one another. Arrows long range tapping with the uh, with the UMP, and uh, oh, O'Connell actually getting the knock on towards Clip. Not sure if they're going to be able to follow it up with anything else. But, um, but at least the knock comes in. Fun gets himself knocked as well. I don't know what it is with meet your makers and vehicles, but they sure do tend to uh, to me to mess up <laughs> every once in a while. Hopefully he'll get back up on his feet. Four AK, they'll be looting up on um, on military. Not the uh, biggest issues for them, unfortunately. Fortunately. Mikhailovich, not sure exactly how Ushtek didn't spot them, but that would have been an easy kill on a guy in the middle of a road there. But um, but, but fortunately, not not happening. Now O'Connell crawling around outside the compound. Clip has been resting. You can see <laughs> up, take one shot, back down on your chest. Up, take one shot, back down again. That is the go-to strat right now. No vest, no helmet, no nothing available for O'Connell. One more tap should be him getting knocked, and now he's forced. Once again, back down. It, okay, so he does have a helmet, but no vest to follow it up. Oh, you stand up now. I was just gonna say, he could get himself into a really, really good angle. It's just about getting the headshot landed, expecting him to step right, but not able to connect it right there. And I mean, even though this is all good fun to watch and whatnot, not really the kind of start either these two teams would have wanted. Neither of them are inside the circles. Surely they don't have that far to go, but... Um, not exactly the most optimal place for either team to be at this point, quite honestly. Wizards, they had a rough game in game number one of the day, or game five overall. But, um, but yeah, we'll see if they can both make their way into the circle either way. For those of you guys who might be interested in seeing stats and seeing how everything is uh, functioning and... And, and all that good stuff, jump over to the PUBG Esports site and uh, you'll get all the info there. You can do exclamation mark stats and standings and leaderboard and all those things and you should be able to get onto the homepage, PUBG Esports.eu. You'll just go in there, go into standings and then jump down into the Contenders promo and you will be able to find all the info you um, you might need through there. Cerebro getting themselves looted up in Milta. They haven't really had any issues down here at any point early on. So we're not expecting them to get any issues anytime soon. And we saw Andy just before caught off a rotation from one of the Aztec Warrior players. Now they'll get back in and get themselves looted. Arthur getting himself looted up in school as well. Good centered position. And should be pretty straightforward to rotate out from there. I mean, they're in the circle. Sure, they want to go further center, but as you can see, he has a full team to his east. The guys from LXG don't really want to don't really want to go fight them at all. So just get yourself looted up and then make your way to the uh Oh, actually, it is pretty centered in the circle. I was just going to say, I thought it was further west, but this one is a smack bang right in the middle. And, uh, well, I mean, it's pretty much the center as he's ever going to get in the first circle, that's for sure. Arsenal lead from Architect, lost a teammate just before. Let's 
see him now sitting up here looking around trying to see what he can spot did he spot sneaky inside the compound or not i don't think sneaky can see him up the hill here but you can see he's looking over towards glass house kind of um kind of building stru or structure that we like to call where the quiz is running around in because there's so many windows jumping around over there Trying to see if he can get himself some info as well. I actually really like the uh, three-way split that LXG has taken this early on. It's a very, very good way to sort of um, to take a lot of control, take a lot of ground, and also still be very center with a good chance to help each other. So smart positioning from the LXG team. Mini taken down as the um, as the Cerebro team started rotating. He will get finished off. Not sure what he was doing that close to the compound, but um, but Aurora were there. To get themselves a point. Arsenal does go down. And that's actually going to be Kofest to take him down. So even though even though there were plenty of LXG players around. It was actually one of the personal courage players that got the kill into him. Personal courage. Well, they won the previous game. So they will be well satisfied with getting themselves a point to start off the next one. Chloe spotting out potentially two to three players from a temporary name. T -t -t temporary temporary name let's see he's sitting up looking it's going back down sitting up looking going back down should i take the shot or should i let him go i think i will let him go so away they drive go fist as well see him down here they're trying to park their vehicles smartly so that they're ready to rotate again should they be forced to houston just getting the dude on there not a whole lot of issues going on for them for AK. They'll be making their way and rotating ever so cautiously. I like the place there where the US is looking up on over. Use the fence for cover. Rather safe than sorry. Honestly, that's like the that's like the rule when you're rotating early. Always rather be um be too safe than too cautious when you're rotating. Always take that extra Two to five seconds to get yourself some info off of a given position. Of course, you don't want to just hide it out in the corner. But um, if you're trying to go somewhere that you have no info about, and if you have, especially if you have a chance to get a position and scout from, do that instead. It's gonna, it's gonna keep you alive more than, uh, uh, well, I mean a lot more than if you were just to to send it straight in towards the compound. So smart, smart playing coming in from all the guys, especially right here as we see the. Uh, the 4 ak team push their way further forwards towards the circle. Never than these. They've made their way up towards school. Might want to get those vehicles inside. And you can see DC is turning it in there. Didn't want to risk losing the wheels on the car. They are... Uh, I mean, the, the cars aren't exactly in a position where... Or they aren't in a position where... Should the circle go away, they have an easy rotation. So smart for them to save the vehicles. Should they need them later on in the game. Ghost Legion, three guys alive over in the um in the apartments and they'll just be chilling around for a little while longer at least the next 20 seconds until we see where the circle is gonna go slow rotations coming on out drone making its way in from the west alongside the guys from swarm and as we see here, circle just about to close. We lost a couple of players already, and it goes up north with a chance to go north of the water too. That could be extremely interesting should that happen. So we fly northward, and um, and for all these players that are down south, they have to make their way around the river. I would say go all the way over to Isnaya. Go and see if you can get anything. You can see right now as well, Northwest and 4AK. They're saying, yo, I guess we're going out east make the rotation all around because these bridges are going to be so clustered with teams any uh, moment now people want to be close to the water so they don't have to rotate far once that circle does commit to one side so might as well just see if you can get into a smart spot good position here to hold things up lxg now getting pulled up on by alpha seems like yellow is committing to that one as well arthur turned around wasn't really feeling comfortable about it but now he's coming in too smart jump by him goes out of the uh, right side of the vehicle sneaky now throwing some nades as he's disengaging arthur vaults on over have fun yellow they want to do the same thing but they don't have to give it position just yet you can see them right here sneaky has a good angle he's trying to shoot through the trees 
Mikhailovich does get taken down. So a little bit of help coming in from behind. But now these is applying pressure down towards them as well. And these actually goes down and return purses from elsewhere on the map. Gets themselves a knock. That's from... Where Where are purses? Oh, they're all on the other side. They're all in the J compound. Okay, so purses are sitting on the other side. And they get themselves a knock in their direction. Quissy spots out Alpha in the garage. It's going to be him knocked. He does have nades as well. Should be able to potentially get the finish off there. Pulls out the M24. With the red dot. And back to the forks. <laughs> Chest shot connected there. Alpha gets finished off. Sneaky securing the kill. Might want to close that door so nades can't go through. Jump throw coming in. That nade is could be straight on the money. Gets himself a knock onto Arthur as well. Now Shadow is all that is going to be left for him and the team. Rough position to be in. He only has this vehicle for cover. They've managed to throw smoke on it and uh, could potentially try and drive away from here. And it seems like that's exactly what he's planning on doing. Full speed forward. Get the hell out of there somehow, some way. How can we do this? It's not going to be an easy run at all. But we'll see. Nope, not going to happen. Quizzy takes him down and that is going to be Ghost Legion eliminated. Not a whole lot more you can do there, unfortunately. But um, it goes down nonetheless. Mikhailovich. Trying to run back inside the compound. He went to uh, <laughs> he went to take down the guy drive-in. Fortunately, it was a teammate that got the kill, but uh, but he took a lot of damage in return. So realizing that, okay, okay, I think I'll just uh, I'll just jump on inside and get myself healed up. Riddle setting themselves up out in the field here, trying to see if they can scout anything forward. Same thing. Going for 4AK on the rotation game. 20 seconds to go until that new circle is going to pop. And we did go further up north. And as you can see, uh, 4AK, they kind of position themselves in a position where... They're positioning themselves in a position. In, in a spot where they can go north should they have to. And they can go south as well. They have full control, like full, full uh, opportunity to go to either side of the... Uh, of the river should they decide to from here circle pops and it goes center once more but we do know of course that um we do know of course that this is uh this is circle four coming up and it should go to the favorite side that has the least water in it so we'll see We'll see just exactly what's going to happen. We'll assume for the circle to go north, but we don't know. Oh, that nade is chasing intense. Somehow, though, managed to go around the side. Fortunately, able to stay put there. Yannick and Nemereth, they're making a run back. They're down by the beach. They have cover from some angles, but as you can see, Blowy has a really, really good spot up, uh, up top there. Decent, prone down. These vehicles, they could get lost in just a short moment. These headshot taken towards him, intends to secure himself that damage done. Helmet gone, not a whole lot more. Um, not a whole lot more to it. That's a headshot from an M24. Northwest. Trying to damage up the hill as well, but now they're losing teammates. Nixties goes down. Kofest secures himself one more knock. Got himself a kill early on in the game, and now he gets himself one more added to it. Should be able to get rest though, but look at that US. <laughs> it ain't stopping anytime soon. It's just continuing down the road and away from them. That's unfortunate. Those two vehicles could be what they would have wanted for rotations. But uh, now they're down to just one vehicle available. Memo with a headshot on to fun. A little bit of damage coming in from the side here as Art of War make their presence known up towards Rosak. They strum back and forwards, so we can see as well. I mean, for Apple and Dictator, they're in a good position. Oh, Misa, that's not good. Apple and Dictator, they're in a position from which they can do a. Uh, I mean, one of two things. Either you're going to continue to just use these vehicles for cover, or you're going to make your way further forward whenever you um, need to. But you can just not risk getting those wheels popped, because you'd be trapped in one hell of an oval spot. And also, of course, we know, since there are no red barrels that will explode at any given time in PUBG, the closest thing you get to it are vehicles.
makes these misses the first one so i'm to have some crazy game yesterday game three i believe that was went absolute beast mode and got himself the uh the win alongside northwest for the team there when there were just two guys remaining from really early on in the game and you can see the split right here northwest didn't manage to get across towards his friends now he's kind of caught off on the other side of the road both and also on the other side of the water and he needs Sniffle and Nixty and company. He needs them to apply some pressure and get maybe one knock over towards him so he can take that vehicle and drive on off. Tony Sosa, Memo and Andy, they're trying to hold off against Meet Jamaica's four versus four. And you can see that circle. It has gone north as expected. There is still some water in it, but uh, some actually a lot of water. But uh, it has gone north as we all expected it to. But a little, little further west than most people would most likely have uh, have thought. Now the interesting thing becomes because there's still a part of the island that is a part of the uh, circle that is on the southern side of the river. And now that we have circle four out of the way, the next circle can actually go anywhere once again. So it could technically, there's a very little chance, but it could technically force its way back down towards the south. That would be very interesting and very horrible for the majority of the players but it uh, could be a pretty uh pretty interesting hard shift to see how of course highly unlikely and the percentage ain't really in his favor but could be fun nonetheless Paulman taking down ben q taking down player number two that's going to be saka not only knocked but finished off as well so meet jamaica's and art of war just uh joining forces and taking out a player there northwest now he finally got out of the confrontation with dictator and Ushtek Warriors, and now immediately after, the pressure comes in from behind. He's not over the other side yet. You see Cerebro, they're trying to get themselves to knock on towards him. Dictator does get fin uh, rest up, and you can see Northwest. He was running back to get the vehicle to cross over because he knew that they were going to go for the rest. But now, well, I mean, just uh, just, just, just not allowed, uh, allowed, allowed to, um, to do that. He has to run over, he's crossing the road now, fortunately both Apple and Dictator, they're focusing elsewhere. So there's a little bit of time for him to make make a, uh, a potential push on forward. Yannick, taken down by Caracas, that is one player down from... Um, for a uh, Persis, they haven't really got a whole lot going, but they do manage to get themselves one knock there. Nemeroth taken down by Ropesy as well, multiple teams in the engagements all around the water there. Ooh, look at this Northwest getting spotted out once again. This is horrible. He's already taken a lot of damage from the circle. And this could be the death of him. Not going to be able to get that first aid off in time. And he's going to get knocked by the blue, unfortunately. So, Apple comes over says, I'll take that kill. That's probably as easy as they get. See wrong. And then it's all taken down too. That's going to be their team eliminated. And Quizzy, well, got a little aggressive. Got a little greedy trying to, um, to get that kill. I mean, Apple actually make that. Got a little greedy trying to get that finish off and in result of it they will both go down to sniffle down to the blue as well now as these fights only continue to get more and more tough to play around sniffle is down nixties is alive but we're at the point now at which you cannot rest those teammates out in the blue unless if they're really really close to the edge of the circle and can jump in before the damage takes them down once more you have something like two or three seconds to jump into the um Jump into the, what do you call it, into the circle after you get rest. If you want to get rest in phase 4, you cannot just sit down and start first aiding. Look at this runny. As an angle so close, one vehicle driving by. Oh, quiz if he runs him over. Nope, just goes on the side. Didn't spot him. Mikhailovic running. One, two. That's two kills. He saw the vehicles go off. Runny might just want to go for this one. He saw the vehicles go off, gets the spray on the first one. Scott Sadler on number two as well. That's going to be two knocks, but not able to get the flushes. He does get the flushes. Okay, so two kills secured by him before he goes down, unfortunately so. And that was an instant kill on towards him, so 12th place. And honestly, honestly, smartest play he could do here. He knew there was no way in hell he was going to get into a top eight spot with 36 guys still alive and people all around him. So he said, you know what, I'll just take two points for the team and then, um, then we'll head on over towards the next game after this one so uh, nice try nice try i can respect that it's a it's one of those situations where especially with this point system because kills are so favorable and it's so hard to get placement points honestly i mean two point two points in a game where you didn't really get anything going your way is um it's better than having those zero point games especially in the long run when there are 12 games to play overall Aurora, they have a good, a good spot up the hill 
in the uh, in the yellow house there. We can see that circle closing in once more. Fs5 have just started. And the witches, they know they're up there. Nades are coming down towards them now as well. Once again, meet your makers. And out of the, uh, out of war, they've been fighting throughout this entire thing. As soon as uh, out of war made their presence known in Rosak, they have been. Uh, I mean, they have uh, they they have had their fair share of engagements, and I think everyone pretty much in both teams have been knocked at this point. Memo now getting finished off as well, and Tens gets taken out. Of course, we can only be so many places at one given time. Tony goes down as well. Lowry secures himself and not going to finish off there. Dees trying to do some more damage now. Ben taken down one, and that's going to be Rupsy down as well. I believe Meet Your Maker's just down to one player now. And I'm sorry that we're not seeing it, but... Um, but I believe they both have just one player remaining on their teams. See, Ben, he's far from the distance. Over on the other side still. The circle having completely excluded the water, so they can stick around on the south side for a little while longer. And he goes down to the blue. So just two guys remaining on the south side, one player from each team. Cope is trying to throw some nades on over, that's going to be personal courage. Again, they won the previous game, and they can look at this position for Ben. He's all by himself, he has Pullman looking down towards him from the wizard, and it's going to be such a tough push for him to make over from the other side. Now he's prone down, Pullman lands the first one, lands the second one as well, and in the end it's going to be Caracas taking down Ben, and that's going to be out of war, out in 10th place. And Fischl goes down as well, so it's going to be Quizzy securing himself one more kill, but he is going to go down in the end there too, and LXG taken out in 9th. So not before now, not before just 25 players alive, have we made our way into the top 8 points. Flurry, vehicle into the water, okay, so Meteor Megas actually had two guys alive. Since the vehicle into the water, fun is down there as well. Trying to take the vehicle to go forward to a well, Leah. That's gonna be a helmet. Uh, if not gone, then pretty broken. Swamp still inside the circle, but need to spend some time resting now. And look at this. I mean, because Meet Your Maker saw on the kill feed that Ben Q went down, that is going to be so much pressure alleviated for them. They now know that the entire south side to themselves. And look at the amount of nades coming in here. T Bone has been a beast with frag grenades in the games and so far coming into this one he's continuing to rack up points wizards such a force to be dealt with that they completely annihilate aurora as they come running on out one knock with the nade and the next ones were finished off there as well great job coming in look at this crate outside the circle in the water that's a uh, that's a bait crate if i've seen one Unfortunately for Wizards, they do know for a fact that multiple other people are around them and it seems like it's only gonna be O'Connell to make his uh, make his way into the circle. Or into the compound, he's actually not even inside the circle yet. Not even inside the circle, and he will go down there as well. Personal courage, with a good position on the eastern side, gets himself to finish off there. Mr. Caracas, still alive, staying put, playing it chill, not really in a hurry to go anywhere. Of course, you will have to move momentarily because the circle has uh, has shifted further west than where he's positioned. These spots him out as well. Oh, these spotted out, I guess you should say. As well, plenty of shots now being fired. And Caracas from far down starts spraying too early and he's gonna pay for it. Tenfold. And that's gonna be a lot of shots coming in return and was spotted out in the open. Yannick turns around and says, Thank you, buddy, for whiffing that spray. I will uh, I'll just get myself a point and a kill on you and secure myself a top five placement. Personal courage though. They have six kills. And they're now kind of uh, kind of trapped. Not in the open, but uh, well I mean it is as open as you probably want it to be Yannick. <laughs> that level three kid didn't help him a whole lot. Goes down to Houston. It's gonna be the sixth kill, seventh kill make that for personal courage. They won the previous game, so they have got some good things going for them. They can win down south and they can win up north as well, should they. Should they, of course, get out on top in this one. But there's still 14 players to be dealt with. So many confrontations have occurred on the eastern side of this game. We have teams like Riddle that are still sitting far out west who have not really been forced to take any engagements for quite a long time. Swarm as well up north, they're sitting pretty well in it. And then you have the two players from Meteor Makers. They have been the rock climbers so far. They've been uh, 
been, been playing it careful, slow and careful. They've fought off uh, out of war, but ever since they went down, they've just been playing it safe on the bottom side. Dee's trying to stay alive. He knows he's the last player for his team. And uh, there are a lot of placement points to be accumulated for him should he be able to stay put. Meet your makers, of course, two players alive. And you can see on the left side of your screen there, all the players alive in the game. Ooh, these nades. Three guys pushing in. They know they have the numbers. They know they have the advantage. Push together. Do not let these take you one by one. Because he's a great, he's a talented player. Great, great, great fragger. And he will not hesitate to um, to do the damage needed should you decide to peek one by one. More smokes thrown. Fun goes down. Just one more player alive. Now for Meteor Makers. These, of course, might not have this info. So many things have happened in the game so far. And it's limited how much you can focus on that kill feed. Let's see if you can peek anyone up over. Not able to spot anyone out immediately. Does get spotted out in return. Those shots fired in both directions. And despite getting the headshot landed on towards Kofest. Or right, Houston actually. It does become a wipe out for temporary name. They were sitting in fifth place coming into this one. And now they go down in fifth overall as well. So um, good job. Good job by them staying put for so long. But unfortunately not a whole lot more to it. And now we see the four, four men alive riddle. I mean they didn't have the best games yesterday. Quite the contrary, actually. And, um, well, I mean, now they have a chance to get something going here. Four teams remaining, and they're four guys alive. They have the numbers, they have a chance, and they, of course, are hoping to get the circle somewhat in their direction here as well. Blowy and fun. I'm not sure they can walk up here. I think they have to make their way around the side. And, of course, they're just trying to buy themselves some time and hope that some of these other teams get eliminated for them. Before them. So it goes up north, not exactly what uh, not me Jamaicas would have wanted. Sinsen. Taken down by a drone, so a swarm getting in on the action. Your kill and clip, they've made their run on up. They could spot out Tuck over the top here. They have one player knocked though, so the question is going to be whether you want to go for the rest here or you want to try and play aggressive with the ex well, that's the thing right because if, you, if 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 an enemy team knocks you they would most likely i mean oftentimes at least expect you to try and go for the uh, rest so if you decide to engage instead and save that rest for later that could be uh, you catching the opponent somewhat off guard nate just going in between the players pretty much the only place it shouldn't go <laughs> had it gone a little further to either side could have been a knock now fun down once again clip taking a nate straight to the face since and finally getting finished off there as well so down to just 12 players these nades continuous to being thrown all over the place and swarm doing a really really good job at sort of just uh, keeping keeping the eyes open keeping the wits about them and making sure not to get spotted out by any angles but in the end there are too many angles to be spotted from one player goes down and so does meet Megas. they go out in fourth place but great game coming in for them as well your tail over the top Riddle has zero kills so far. They were on this quiet end of the circle and no kills for them. And even with a third place here, it would only be five points overall. Of course, it is five points. They would love to get drone taken down. And again, remember, guys, these smokes, they can be somewhat misleading. Which smokes are up, which ones aren't when it comes to observing. We saw it in the last game as well. Clip. Trying to see if he can spot anyone over the edge. Gets himself a headshot on towards one. Drone, he knows he's up on the plateau. But there's still more people to be fought off. Him and Hannibro. They have to do something. Talk crawling onto the smoke. Tries to get the angle. Ooh, if he had a nade here, that would have been golden. Hannibro is far down the side. With a good position. But look at how personal courage have positioned themselves off of this. They've literally just saw the teams fight. And throughout all of this, while all these other teams have been fighting, they have just been trying to reposition themselves. They won the previous game. Personal courage. Could they be the first team in the promotionals to go two for two? That would be absolutely insane if they could get themselves a back-to-back -back victory. Tuck and drone. Smokes thrown forward. They have nothing to play for on this little spit of land. Just every single centimeter they move forward could be the death of them drone goes down tuck is the only guy alive and riddle is trying to use their smokes for cover for him he's prone down oh does he see him he doesn't see him oh tuck this is not the way you want to be looking right now not the direction you want to be looking doesn't spot him tuck starts around kofa takes our clip wow swarm that's the most gifted second place in the universe riddle we're taken down by Ko 